Good morning, Louisville. There she is, the queen of country music who made her appearance on Friday right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And you got to meet her. I did. I was so excited. Becca White and Tara Bassett joining you this morning on this kind of cold but kind of wet day. Dreary day, but we're happy to be indoors and it's light inside. And what I think is so funny, frankly, being a meteorologist and having worked in the, the business for a long time is the hysteria that is going on about the monster winter storm oh that is goodness. barely going to graze the uppermost counties in Indiana that are in our viewing area could bring about a half an inch of ice to Orange, maybe Jackson Jennings counties, but for us, it's gonna be pretty much a dusting of snow, maybe a little light drizzle. Ben Pine's gonna have more details, obviously, in his forecast, mm -hmm. but uh, the monster winter storm is gonna stay well to our north. There is one pretty important place that's going to be closed that we wanna tell you about. Paoli Peaks is yes. actually closing tomorrow. Because of um, the ice. Because of the ice, yeah. right, so. They're closed today, too. No skiing tomorrow at Paoli. Yeah. They're gonna reopen. Now, let's see, it says Paoli Peaks is closed today. Well, I read this wrong, Becca, I'm sorry. Reopen on Wednesday, February 2nd at 10 a.m. and will resume regular operating okay. hours then. So today, because today of the fact that the storm's closed. coming in, they are not going to have the, the Paley Peak ski area open, which is okay. They're not going to hopefully have any damage. They've got about a 50, 60 inch base right now, which is pretty good, and they've had a lot of skiing. They have had a lot of skiing, yeah, lot but of skiing. you don't need to ski today because we have a great show for you. And <laughs> we're going right. to entertain you. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, our friend from Bridgehaven here, Ramona Johnson, is the president and CEO, and she's going to talk about severe mental illness and what Bridgehaven is doing to help with the treatment of severe mental illness in the, in the Louisville area. And also, it's Tuesday, so that means Carl Truman's here answering email questions and also phone call questions, all sorts of stuff. Um, so he's here to answer questions. We're going to follow you as you go through the Special Olympics Inspire Greatness Gala on Saturday night. So we'll catch up with Becca's social life as she spent her weekend helping <laughs> Special Olympics Kentucky. What a great uh, project this was for In Focus Magazine. Very great, and I, I'm very gracious for In Focus Magazine for inviting myself and Chris Caswell along to enjoy the experience, really take it in. And um, I think Chris might have teared up a little bit. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a very, very important cause. Special mm. Olympics, of course, uh, founded by Eunice Shriver, Eunice right. Kennedy Shriver, and uh, it has gone on in spite of the death of Eunice and her husband, and her kids are going to carry on the tradition, I'm sure, but it has just been such an important part of, of Kentucky and Indiana's uh, Special Olympics projects, this Inspire Greatness Gala. It was a fantastic time, cool. and also Jackie Golby's going to be in the house with a cat or a dog, not sure yet, but we were just talking about special breed golden, golden, Golden Doodles. Golden Doodle. I wonder so. if she's going to bring a Golden Doodle. I don't know. We'll wow, see. that's one big high energy a, dog. A big dog. You have to catch up with me. Sunday night, by the way, I spent with the Louisville Youth Choir at their fundraiser, which mm -hmm. was oh so much fun. But I have to say that Friday was the best night of my, well, of my life up to this point. <laughs> Let's just get right to it. A little jealous over here. Talk about it a little bit. <laughs> I got to go to the Louisville Palace and meet uh, the queen of country music. Yay. Thanks to Howard Gosser and Ron Gaddis, who are our friends who are part of Country Junction, the show that we're going to be doing here on WBKI. Mm -hmm. They got us backstage and got us to meet Loretta Lynn and her entire family, which was such an exciting time. And we actually put together a little uh, retrospective of our evening. David Caston, photographer extraordinaire and account executive here at BKI, joined me. Here's the tape. Loretta Lynn has entertained worldwide for nearly five decades. Friday, she brought the family show back to her home state, and WBKI's Louisville Live this morning was there. We are in the beautiful Louisville Palace, of course, one of the most spectacular venues in the country. Loretta Lynn is performing here tonight live, and we are going to get to interview her. We're going on her bus, but right now, first, thanks, guys. I need a little souvenir of the show. Here I am. I'm going to interview Loretta Lynn. Be still, my heart. Twin daughters Patsy and Peggy, known as Lynn's, opened for their mom. I couldn't tell them apart. We had just a little bit of fun with one of the twins backstage. Peggy or Patsy? Peggy, are we yeah. sure? Uh, we're absolutely, well, I'm sure. I don't know about I'm really not <laughs> sure. Son Ernie Lynn and the coal miners also entertained. He claimed to be a good friend of this familiar face. Hi, this is the guy who got us in backstage. <laughs> Hi, Tara. How are you doing, Dora? Ron Gaddis. Ain't we having a ball? We are having so much fun. And you know what? You're going to be doing Country Junction on WBKI, which will rival Hee Haw in popularity. I know it. Oh, get out of here. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and Allison Bray, who is singing on Country Junction with Ron Gaddis and Lori Morgan, also backstage with us at this fantastic concert. Allison, welcome. Thank you. for. I'm so excited to be here, you know, to meet Loretta. She's my idol. 
also. And getting to meet her on the bus had to be the biggest moment of your life. Yes, it was. And then I got to talk to her back here. When, so, are, you, when are you gonna be a big star like Loretta? Oh, I don't, I hope I would be just as big as her. That'd be the coolest thing ever. She's done. only 14, ladies and gentlemen. You can see her on Country Junction on WBKI. Yes. Allison Bray. This is exciting. And finally, the woman of the hour. Well, thank you very much. It's nice to be here in Kentucky. Loretta told us her mommy and daddy taught her to sing when she was just a little girl and shared the story of how she learned to play the guitar with a very inexpensive present from her husband, Doolittle. Yeah, he, he brought me that $17 guitar. I, I think he got it at Sears and Roebuck. I don't remember, but it, was, it was a, wasn't very expensive. I couldn't keep the thing in tune. And I didn't hardly know how to tune a guitar, so I was in bad shape. I really just <laughs> had to sing out of tune. <laughs> we discussed being at war and writing about it in the song she did about Vietnam. Wasn't that something? Dear Uncle Sam. You know, my husband and I was on the road giving these little records out there every disc jockey. We'd stop at all the stations. And that was all they talked about was Vietnam. And I said, I am tired of hearing about this. I think it's terrible the way this war is going. He said, well, write about it. So I wrote Uncle Sam. Of course, he didn't answer. I asked her if she ever sang the song about our current wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. They, they holler for it just about every night, so I kind of put it back in because of that. Another woman empowering song she wrote was The Pill. Everybody took it but me, and I had the kids to prove it. Even twins. Yeah, they started coming two at a time. So, <laughs> <laughs> listen, when they started coming in pairs, I knew to do something. But I never did take the pill. I just sent my old man down and said, go to the doctor. You need to do something. <laughs> as much as she loved her husband of nearly 50 years, Doolittle, another man shared her heart on stage. There'll never be nobody like Conway Twitty. I ain't going to ever be no Conway Twitty. Because he was the greatest. But, you know, Nashville did not make it known how great he was. They really didn't get behind Conway, and he was one of the greatest country singers we've ever had. Somebody told me Loretta lived in a haunted house. Was it true? No, I live in the one right behind it. I <laughs> left out of that haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> when I'd come home, yeah. I'd hear women go up and down the back. See, there was two stairways, one in the back and one in the front. And me and my husband slept in the bedroom right next to the one in the back. And I'd wake him up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'd say, honey, wake up. Can't you hear that woman going up and down with her high heels on? And he'd say, oh, I'll roll over and go back to sleep. <laughs> to hear an unvarnished version of a song young Loretta and her sister Crystal Gale learned from her mother. The sun shone out in its glory, shone out on the deep blue sea. Children were crying, dear mother, dear mother has gone to stay. And then watch her transformation to the queen of country music on stage. There's one thing we know for sure, there'll never be another Loretta Lynn. <laughs> Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much to not only David Caston, but Patrick Weishar and Joe Phelps and our own Becca White for helping me edit the package. It's, it's really my first experience editing in a nonlinear fashion. We used to go <laughs> tape to tape, and now we do everything on computer. So these guys really made that a special thing for me and, and just brings tears to my eyes. You know, she talked to me about being born in a little log born. cabin, which was precious. And she also mentioned that she was much more comfortable in a high-necked gown than in the the low-cut low gowns cut. that the young man who was in the trailer with us, or in the, in the rolling living room, I should say, designed for her. She, she was very conscious about her cleavage. Look and I just thought, her. you know, 76 years old, you got cleavage like that, Loretta, show it off. And she's <laughs> such a spitfire, I love that. She was awesome. You know, at the, at, we did that little good morning, Louisville. Mm -hmm. Well, she cut another one. She said, good morning, Louisville, get up. <laughs> <laughs> with